Hi guys! I know I promised you guys a dorm tour and the semester is coming to an end and I haven't done one yet so I'm gonna do it now before moving out. I'm actually moving out this week. So yeah. Um, and for you who don't know, I studied uh, at Hanguk University of Foreign Studies, also called Hofs or Wede. And um, I live in dorm International House A, which is only for female students. And in all the rooms, uh, you 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 all. I was gonna say you always do live with a roommate, but uh, some people are lucky and they get their room for themselves. But usually you have a roommate uh, with you, which is also freaking great. It depends on like what you prefer, but I actually think it's good to have a roommate. Uh, but yeah, it's. It's up to you. For example, next semester I have applied to live in a single room and you can only, I think you can only do that in um, dorm C. So there's dorm A, B and C. And for example, dorm B is for both boys and girls, but the floors are, um, they separate the floors. So like the first and the second floor are for boys and the uh, floors above are for girls. Or that's what I think I know. <laughs> I'm not sure since I, I do not live in B and I don't hang around in B because I, I'm not allowed to. But you know, um, yeah, so let's let's jump in. Let's start with this little vlog, okay. Uh, yeah, ac and then also I realized that I already, like if you've seen my vlogs, you already see how how the dorm kind of looks like. Um, so there's not much more to show, but maybe it would be more helpful for some of you guys that are thinking of living in a dorm here um, to have it like all collected in one video and just like a quick overview of how how the room looks like. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how it looks like. It's nothing special because it's so small. That's what, like there's not much more. Um, to show that I've done what you've already seen in my vlogs probably. Um, so the first thing I want to show you guys is um, how you get in and in every or like what I think is the most common in Korea are these smart locks where you have a code so you don't really need a key which is freaking awesome it's so nice to not have to think about what, to bring keys with you every time you just need to remember you need a good memory, you need to remember the code. So this is how it looks like outside. And there are three rooms on each floor. And so it looks like this when you come to the door. As I told you, you don't need a key, you just need to remember your code. It looks like this. And do that and then you just follow the number and then you get in and uh, I just showed you my code because I'm moving out so when the when I'll when I've moved out from here I won't live here anymore and the code will you know it doesn't really matter and here we uh, usually have our shoes this is our little mini hall and we put our shoes, like the shoes we use, we always have around here. And then we store, so, and then we store our shoes in here. And as you can see, we have a lot of shoes. And then up here we store our toilet paper, cause, um, yeah, that's just how we decided to store our shit. And here's the bathroom. It looks like. It's very fresh and it looks the same, like we haven't done anything to it. Um, and I don't know if you remember something really funny about... For you guys who saw my first vlog. Um, yeah, I when I showed you our little... Uh, I showed you the inside of this. Room, I was like, yeah, my, my roommate... She can take upper space and I'll just take this space and then we'll share this bottom space but because I thought she would be taller than me so I thought it would be more fit for her to have like the, uh, the one up here and then 
uh, you know, but then actually when I met her, <laughs> you know, she's shorter than me, so we decided to split like this, which makes more sense. And uh, so this is my side and this is her side, and yeah, so we just have like our own door. So when you do this, this is my side, you know. And yeah, there's not much more to show in this little bathroom. It's very small. So there you go. Here is the uh, hanger, laundry hanger or whatever you should call it, uh, that we got in Emart, I think. Uh, so when this one is full or when we want to hang up bigger things like uh, bed sheets and stuff like that, we go out and hang it on the on the bigger one outside. But this one works perfectly well. And then here is my bed. Here is my roommate's bed. That's the air con. I'm actually gonna put it on because it's like freaking hot. And like I wouldn't survive without the air con. And here is um, my roomie's table. And that's my table. It's all made always, always super messy. And lately, I don't know, I've been super obsessed with drinking coffee. I drink coffee every day. I try not to. But I used to drink coffee every day back in Sweden as well, so I, I guess it's fine. Um, but yeah. And I don't know what to show you more. Uh, I mean, it's my part of my side of the desk is always messy. As you can see, it's like a big difference. And. It's not really important what I store here because like it's just I can show you anyways but like under the table uh, you've got some storage as well so I have some uh, course literature and you know just things and in this upper one I have some beauty products that I have gotten um, some sheet masks hand cream nail polish remover and you know just beauty products but the beauty products that I actually use daily I have back here that's what I use daily and here I have some of my jewelries my pencils my speaker this is like the best thing I brought with me from Sweden or like one of the best things because you wanna have a good sound when listening to music and and also, we also uh, bring it to campus a lot and listen to music at the Gerester, so it's freaking great. And here I've got some, yeah, it's just a mess down here. I've got tape, pencils, um, like chargers, stuff like that. I don't know, it's just a mess, so I'm just not gonna go into this. And then we have, over here we've got just like, you know, these poofy things some extra shampoo um, alcohol foam aloe aloe soothing gel just you know things really <laughs> it's not important and my a lovely wardrobe which is also just a mess right now but yeah as you can see I bought a lot of things from Korea because how can you resist also these uh, are we put these uh, on by ourselves and these you can get it like the hooks you can get them in Daiso so that's that and our lovely lovely kitchen um, honestly there's not much <laughs> to show uh, actually these things we had to buy on our, on our own or yeah which I th find weird like I think like a water boiler should be like a thing that every room should have but we had to buy this we bought this one in Emart and like we bought this one and this one in, in Daiso same with that thing like the like um, I think this was like 5,000 won which is, which is like five dollars so most of the things you can get at Emart and Daiso, and uh, it's really cheap, especially Daiso, which is like a Japanese chain. Like, this knife is from Daiso, this 
chopping board is also from Daiso and all of these things like I bought first I bought a cup and I bought this bowl but then I got really tired honestly it's really it sounds weird but I got tired of eating from a bowl in a cup so I bought a plate and a glass as well this one is actually from Ikea and and the, the rest of the things uh, they are from Daiso and these are my things I don't know where my roommates that's her bowl anyways I don't know where her stuff is at the moment and we've got some things here and here's our is it called freezer yeah I've got some blueberries and you know we don't have a lot of food since we're moving out but this mini fridge is amazing I actually think the the space is okay because you don't want too much food in here because it will get bad like you know what I'm saying and this is how it looks like when I do this or when I back off a little so it's pretty I don't know it's pretty not I mean it's a good amount of space I do not really complain the only thing is like if for example I'm sitting here and my roommates needs to go to the kitchen it's kind of um, tight but other than that it's really fine I since we've been here for three months now I really like this room a lot but it's funny because I think this is the smallest room you can get so the other rooms are more spacious they have more space like in the middle of the room like they could probably have like not like maybe like a yoga session in the middle of the room if they wanted to but this space is way too small for that not because uh, I was thinking of having a yoga session but you know I want to have the ability to do so right this room was really really fresh according to me I was um, what, what do you say surprised in a good way how do you say that is that how you say it surprise in a good way yeah so um that's that i'm so sorry i'm a mess i actually didn't know what to tell you what to show you but yeah that's about it see you we don't wanna be you <laughs> no i'm just kidding oh but <laughs>